Welcome, in front of me is the Honor 50 Lite and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. When you put it up for the first time you should be presented with this screen right over here where you get to select your desired language. Now I'll be sticking with English which is selected by default so all I need to do is select get started and this brings me up to selecting my region. This only defines your time zone so if you don't really care about it you can keep it at whatever it selects by default don't have terms of use so if you're interested in uh, reading up on what you have to agree to you can tap on details right here and this will bring up the comprehensive uh, well, legal document right here that you can read through uh, just a you know nice a bed bedtime story that you can read here and from there you need to select that I have carefully read and agreed to the above terms and from there we can go to the next page which brings us to the insert sim card this step is completely optional and you don't have to actually do it so I'll skip it and from there it takes us to the Wi-Fi connection page so in here you can connect to your Wi-Fi assuming you have one that you can connect to if you don't again you can skip that as well now by skipping Wi-Fi and inserting a mob uh, card uh, you basically are not connected to any kind of network so because of this uh, date and time won't be set automatically meaning that it most likely will be incorrect and additionally, uh, you won't have uh, things like a Google login page visible throughout the setup process. Because I do believe there is Google on here. And yeah, there we go. So we have Google services. So obviously we have Google login page. Or, well, not me, because I skipped Wi-Fi connection. Anyway, uh, Google services, location scanning, sending user and diagnostic data. Uh, quickly going into all three of them, uh, location is GPS tracking. Uh, scanning uh, allows the device to look for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals. And then uh, uh, send user and diagnostic data allows Google to spy on you. And there we can go to the next page, which is couldn't connect. Uh, try again using another network if you can have skip for now. I'm not even sure what it's trying to connect to. And this brings us to data and privacy. Very funny words coming from Huawei. Uh, oh, sorry, Honor, because it's a different company now, apparently. So uh, let's just select next. Uh, then we have device protection, which allows us to set up a fingerprint, face recognition, or some screen lock. Now, if you're planning to use uh, either one or both of the first two uh, above one, so fingerprint and face recognition, or face recognition, uh, you will always be required to set up some kind of uh, password and password means pen pattern or password. And that is so if something happens to your finger, maybe the sensor, or your face or the camera, uh, you still have some kind of a way to access your device uh, uh, in a different way. But I'll be setting up only a screen lock. Now by default it opts into a pen, a six, six digit pen, but I want to change it so I'm going to click right here, change unlocking method and I'll select pattern. So from here, let's just put in my pattern, then I'm gonna repeat it, and it's now set. Now it goes back to setting up uh, other uh, unlocking methods like fingerprint and face recognition, but I'll just select next, which will skip, uh, skip them. Now, this brings us to some enhanced services. So Magic UI provides a range of enhanced services that help us get whatever. No thanks. Uh, honestly, I'm not interested in any of the trash, uh, trash that they can provide here, so I'm just gonna select later for all of them. Now obviously you can read exactly what they want, and if you find something that you might be interested in, you can set it up. I, I, I'm not really, so I'm just gonna, like you've seen, I just skipped through all of them. Now, next thing we'll see is keep your software up to date. So enable overnight software update to enjoy the latest features, enhanced security and uh, service improvements. Now, uh, here's the tricky thing. Uh, you can see there is the button enable and continue. And this has got to be the scummiest way of trying to, to get to this because normally you have agree or disagree to such a feature, right? But the freaking disagree button is right here named update overnight and the blue text. So we have to click that in order to not agree to this. Oh, and obviously then it 
gives us this thing. So don't want overnight update, uh, overnight software update, blah, blah, blah. Um, security patches and improvements. And... Uh, it, it, it's kind of confusing. Don't want overnight update, enable or don't enable. I'm not sure if it's like trying to trick me into this sentence or uh, this option right here. I'm gonna select don't enable. I honestly have no idea if that is what I'm supposed to select to not agree to it, so yeah. Anyway, uh, navigation gestures. So here we have just gesture navigation, which we can select try gestures. Now, for I believe some stupid reason. Uh, can I close this? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, so there is no stupid reason. Um, I did just a setup of some phone which literally forced me into gestures. This one was not it, so... There we go, once you select if you want to use gestures or not and close the guide, if you decided to go with them, it will present you with the home screen with the setup completely finished. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.